Hi, I'm Bob Nunley, and uh, I've been using Pro One for not quite two years now. I took lessons from Stan at his home, I believe probably in April or so, two years ago. In any case, if you can wade through my southern accent, I'm going to try to explain to you some things that I do a little bit differently with Pro One than what Stan had on his original DVD. Not because what Stan said was wrong, but because I have some physical limitations. I have uh, a bad back, I've got a lot of arthritis in my back, and I also have a steel knee that doesn't quite work like a real knee does. So with that in mind, uh, let me show you how I use Pro One. What I've done here is use paper hull reinforcements to set up a pretty simple shot. Not because I memorized the shot or I want it to be in the, I just want it to be in the same place every time for purposes of this demonstration. After I shoot these shots, then I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to show you my actual foot movements. What Stan originally taught me in Pro One two years ago was to find center to edge and edge to, in this case, C, which means I have an outside visual sweep or a left visual sweep. So I would take my eyes to the edge of the cue ball, start my sweep down to right here, then I'd find center of cue ball and fire the ball in the hole. Okay? That made pocketing balls very simple. What I have learned to do in the meantime is to eliminate taking my eyes off of that center line to edge. So I go center to edge and I keep my eyes on center to edge, immediately find center of cue ball and come down and put the shot in the pocket. Okay, now let me explain what happens. I have shot literally probably tens of thousands of shots using Pro One. And what has happened is that my feet know how much they have to move for me to pick up that visual sweep. So one foot, if I went straight forward, would go here. And I'd rotate in. If I went to a right visual sweep, my foot would go over here and I'd rotate in. If I go to a left visual sweep, then when I drop down in my stance, my foot would go over here and I'd rotate in. Now that's exaggerated. My feet actually move very little. From center line to left to right, I probably only move about three or four inches total. So I'll video my feet while I'm shooting this same shot and I'll show an inside and an outside sweep even though the inside sweep or the right sweep would miss the shot. I'll show it so that my feet will be in the same position every time. Now I hope you can see them on this video but I have five paper hole reinforcements on the carpet. Uh, this is, I set these up because with this shot this is my alignment area right here. This is where I stand to find my center to edge on that shot. All right, as I move into the shot, if I were just to go to the center of the cue ball, then right there is where I would go. That's just moving straight forward out of my shot. Okay, now if I'm looking for a right visual sweep, then I find my center to edge, and I keep my eyes on center to edge, and I come in right here. Right, that's my right visual sweep, and that's how much my foot moves for a right visual sweep off of center line. That will give you that equivalent of a half tip pivot. All right. Now I'm going to move in on my line again, get comfortable with it. There's my center to edge. Now this shot wouldn't go because it's a, I'm using an a, uh, inside visual sweep from the same setup shot, so it missed very, very short of the pocket. But if I needed that inside visual sweep, then there's my movement. So you can see by these three hole reinforcements, there's center, there is my right visual sweep, there is my left visual sweep. So I'm not actually using the visual sweep anymore. My body has just developed muscle memory where I know, boom, there's my right visual sweep. Boom, there's my left visual sweep. 
The main reason I wanted to do this video was not to teach people Pro One, but for those that are having a little bit of trouble finding their visual sweeps and either overcutting or undercutting, then I wanted to show them how little you actually move to go into those visual sweeps. A lot of people think it's a real drastic rotation and it's really not. It's just a little subtle rotation. Remember that you're only moving enough to affect the same result as a half tip pivot. And that's it. And wish everybody luck with it. It's a fun system and it makes your ball pocketing go through the roof.